Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be looking at the brand new device care that comes with One UI 4.0. So here I have a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. I'm gonna go to the settings, go all the way down just to show you guys about phone, uh, software information, and you can see it's One UI 4.0, Android 12. If I click this guy, look, look at that, we've got uh, 12 right there okay and then this guy right over here is in fact running on one ui 3.1 this is a samsung galaxy note 20. so let's uh, dive in and see exactly what has changed with the device care it's a place i spend a lot of time in so i like the changes that they have done so here's the battery and device care we're going to click that and here's the battery and device care we're going to click that as well now right off the bat you can see we have a brand new design side by side I do like this better. One thing I prefer they have kept was the numbering system here. We now have smiley faces. So sad smiley means that number is going to be low. Middle smiley means it's going to be good. And of course, right now we're great, but I would prefer something like this. And I'm going to go individually into each one of these categories. There are some differences there as well. But at the bottom, there's something I want you guys to see. So here, this is where it ends. We have nothing beyond this point. Now, if I scroll down here, we actually have two new options known as additional care. Now, one of them links directly to the software update. So if I click on this one, it goes straight into the software update page, as you can see. Number two, we have this thing right here that is known as the diagnostics menu. Now, this one is from the Samsung members application. It has been intelligently linked from the device care. So when I click it, It'll take you straight to the member's application, and from there, you can start to test your device to make sure it is working properly. You can do a full system scan, or you can do single stuff like battery status. So it's a normal battery, which is great. Now let's go in here. We do have some big changes under the battery. Now, before I dive in, a real quick message from our sponsor. So a quick word from our sponsor, which is an app that I've been using recently a lot. So Endel is a powerful app designed to make you focus better for daily tasks such as studying or working or to calm and relax you for sleeping and stress relief. Now it does this by creating neuroscience backed AI driven soundscapes and musical rhythms that will allow you to focus better or soothe you or relax you based on your choice. So let me show you. Here's the app and it's got a really artistic interface. So let's say I want to do some important work and need help focusing. I tap on deep work and I choose how long I'll be doing the work and I click on start. Immediately the app creates an AI powered soundscape that puts you into a deep state of flow, increasing your concentration. Or let's say I'm a little stressed or anxious. I can choose the option to meditate and again choose for how long and this time it creates a soothing soundscape designed to create feelings of comfort and safety, thereby relaxing you. And of course I can do the same if I need help concentrating or being productive or if I need help sleeping and it will create soothing sounds that will put me into deep sleep. Now the best way to experience this brilliant app is to simply try it out. There's gonna be a link below, so go ahead and click that link and try Endel out. You are gonna love this app. All right, so here we have it. Now, overall, it seems to be the same. However, at the bottom, when you go into more battery settings, what we now have is we have a change. So this enhanced processing, something I never liked, is gone and replaced. So this would just maximize the phone's performance. It's like turbo mode, everything gets activated, maximum battery consumption. Now here, it has been renamed to processing speed with three different options. We have the optimized mode, which I like. That's what I'm gonna keep it at. Then we have the high, which is the middle ground, and it tells you exactly what it does, get faster data processing. Some apps are running slowly, but mostly they're maximized. And then we have the maximum mode, which was this guy right here. So we would go straight to max over here. Now we have the options to choose from three different options. I think that's the best right here. Balance speed and battery and cooling efficiency. 
Now, in relation to that, I also want to let you know, they also have given us the processing toggle instead of the enhanced processing. So we can click them both from here, but when you click on the text, now you get the three options. When you click on the text here, it's just on and off. So that's changed as well. Now let's go back. Another huge thing that I love is this feature at the bottom. The protect battery feature comes straight from Samsung Galaxy Fold 3, Flip 3. Basically, when you enable this, it's going to extend the lifespan of your battery. So when you charge the phone, it's going to stop at 85%. It's not going to charge beyond that. It's not going to go to 100%. And that actually extends your battery life, which is fantastic. So we have that option here. People that are thinking of keeping their phones for a long time should enable this. Now, let's look at the other stuff. So let's go to storage. Let's go back here. Let's go to storage right here. Now, one thing I noticed here on the top, we have this advanced feature that's not there yet, but I guess it's a beta, so some things might be missing. And even this over here, the apps has a little icon next to it. I don't know what that is, but otherwise it looks mostly the same, but we don't have the advanced feature yet on the One UI 4.0, okay? It's not a huge deal, but it's not there. And if I go down here, we have the same thing. Uh, it just has a slightly cleaner look on this side. So that's the duplicate files, that's the large files, we have the same situation happening right here. Now let's go back and look at the memory, okay? So if you go into memory, again, this is gonna be same functionality, very slightly different look. In fact, the only thing I'm seeing here is this is a little bit bigger with a different color hue. But uh, if I click on it, let's see what happens. Okay, it looks the same. So memory is the same. Let's go back, okay? So we're gonna go over here and we are gonna look finally at device uh, protection again overall same we have a slightly different look as you can see but everything else is the same all right uh, but most of the big changes are the additional care options and the battery options that are actually very useful all right so that's the brand new device care on one ui 4.0 if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below stay tuned for a full top to bottom comparison between 4.0 and 3.1. For now guys, have a fantastic day, all right?